Did you know that for more than half a century, x-ray technicians were taught to expose black patients to higher doses of radiation when compared to white patients? Welcome to episode 5 of Hidden Medical History. My name is Joel, the medical mythbuster. Let's talk about the racialization of x-ray radiation. X-rays were discovered in 1895 and revolutionized medicine. By using a type of ionizing radiation, they allowed us to make images of the inside of the body. This is actually the first ever x-ray that was taken of a human. But as x-ray technology developed, false beliefs about biological differences between black and white people impacted how doctors, dentists, and other healthcare professionals actually used x-rays. In 1863, Theodore Waits wrote in Introduction to Anthropology that, quote, the skeleton of the Negro is heavier, the bones thicker. And a century later, in an atlas for normal radiographic anatomy, it was written that the skulls of black patients were thicker and more dense than that of white people. Those false beliefs led doctors to believe that black skin, as well as black people's teeth, jaws, and oral tissue was resistant to radiation. So much so that in the 1950s and 60s, guidebooks like this one actually taught x-ray technicians to use higher doses of radiation on black patients, sometimes as much as 60% more. And of course, in these guidebooks, average white adults were thought of as normal, whereas anyone else that was black or brown in color was thought of as hard to penetrate or abnormal. It wasn't until 1968, four years after the Civil Rights Act, that a Senate hearing caused public outcry and led to the stop of this practice. 